What's up guys? Now that we have the events detail page, let's look at having a basic auth scaffolding along with some modifications based on our own requirement. So right now the only thing which we have done is we have an events listing page and we have an events view or the detail page right but we would want to create the events um, as well and for that we will need to know which user created the event and hence we need authentication so that's what we are going to handle today which is setting up the authentication with a few modifications so let's see the first thing which i'm going to do is php artisan make auth okay it is going to add a few things in my application so the first thing being home controller you know there will be some layouts and everything so let's check them step by step okay let me close out everything and then the one controller which was added was home controller right so in here we have index which gives us the home route okay and that is now protected by auth right so what is going to happen is every time we try to get into the app or the home route it is going to prompt me to log in first that's fine now for any user to be logged in or you know to register i would want in my user table to have an additional uh, column which is is active this will allow me to control the user registrations and also to disable a few users as and when required without actually deleting them so I'll add this column and my default value will be zero which means all the users by default will be inactive okay it's a safe way to do that and that's what we have implemented now because we have done this we need to update our model factory as well okay so is active is one so by default when i'm whenever i'm creating an event sorry uh, a user the user will be active so that is done and let's also see if the database seeder which we have created is correct um, okay we don't have an, a database seeder as of now so why don't we do that user sorry so this is the email address and okay password and then the is active will be one okay so with this done I think we have all the things ready um, why don't we do one thing as well factory event class 20 events I'll be creating okay so the seeder is also done so we have you know, created the scaffolding of auth we have changed the user table we have change the model factory and the database as per our requirement now let's go to our login controller and as you can see there is one thing which we need to check additionally which is that the user should be active right we have added that as a precondition in our application so how do we tackle that situation now if we see the overrides i think we should get that authenticates 
it should be in the authenticates yes so this is the credentials function which we need to you know override so if if i if i show you so we go into the credentials okay so this is how it is attempting to do that you know attempt login and it takes the credentials and the credentials we are uh, returning this username and password from the request but that's something which we need to change so let's write our override uh, we need to override the credentials and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say to return an array which I want to merge uh, with request only so request only let me just see whether it is imported or not yeah it is imported so fine so request only um, in this it will be this username comma password all right and then is active which will be one okay so if we need to see whether this is act correct or not let's see where is my users table this is my users table and is active is one right we'll make it zero let's for now comment this out okay and we will try to log in method home doesn't exist okay where is the um, it's in which controller controller home controller all right what happened to the home controller web.php okay so we need to add this sorry about that home and let's just put in the same thing for now okay we don't want to do anything else but okay so why did we log in oh yeah uh, we removed the condition right so with this what is happening is this particular status is not being considered okay I'm an inactive user but still I'm able to log in but what I would ideally like to do is any user which is not active should not be able to log in right so that's where we have you know overridden this method and we say that okay for the credentials I need the username password but I also need that the user is active okay now let's see what happens so I try to log in again and it says the credentials does not match our records which is fine because my user is not active and I intentionally don't want to tell the user that you know he is not active I don't want to do that I don't want to give away the fact that you know he has an account or you know the credentials are correct but it's that he is not inactive that's the reason he is not able to log in so that's a security thing which I want to tackle anyway so now that we have made it one I should be able to log in so yeah that's as far as the login controller is concerned then in here this is the create right in create what I would like to do is by default is active should be zero okay now there's a problem with the current stub if you log out and then if you log in test user test at test.com okay password password all right as you can see the user is getting created and he is logged in not something which we want to do because the user is still inactive so how do we do that as well um okay we'll log out okay and it seems we have one method in here as well to override which is register okay so let's see what the register function has registers users uh, register okay um this is register 
and this is registered the user has been registered so this is like something which will happen after we do registration right so we can override this not the register but the registered so validator is here create is here and registered something which we are going to override and the only thing which I'm going to do is let me see if the class is there yes it is here so auth log out and return redirect welcome is it welcome okay so but again this is something which i have figured out and you know if if you know a better way to do it do let me know and i will modify the code accordingly but that's something which you have found out uh, right now where you know once the user registers he doesn't get logged in automatically okay so i'm not logged in right now although i have created the user and yes you no know, uh, the user status is zero if i try to log in through this credentials i don't um, get into the dashboard so that's done 